Okay, welcome back. Right to project two, the detailed gun. We're actually going to be working on a Beretta 9mm. Um, one of the subscribers has asked me to do a more detailed gun. Um, so I'm going to show you the process that I use to create a detailed model from scratch. Now the most important thing is reference pictures. So I've got quite a few reference pictures and then I'm going to draw it all out. Um, there's a, two reasons why I draw it out. One is that it will be very accurate then, rather than working from photographs, which you could do. You could eyeball it all in and get a fairly decent looking gun, but you'll have lots of mistakes along the way and trying to sort problems out that really you don't need to do. If you're actually drawing the gun out and you're thinking about how you're going to break the geometry up, this is the best way to do it. And if you're working in the game industry or you're working on any projects, you will always get drawings, accurate drawings of the model that you're trying to create. So first stage, I guess, open Maya up and set your project. So let's just set that now. Let's create a new project. Sorry, project new. And we're going to call this... Project 2 Beretta 9mm. Okay, let's use defaults and accept it. And now we're set up, so we've got our project all ready to go. Now, before I've even done anything on the screen, um, all the preferences and settings you set in project number one, so if you haven't done project number one yet, I suggest you look at videos uh, one and two, I think, of project one to set up all your preferences and make sure they're all the same. Um, if not, you can probably get away with it anyway. So um, we're going to be, before we start anything, we're gonna be setting up um, a project shelf for our games modding as such I've got here. I'll show you how to set that up. Um, so we're all working with the same tools, tools that we use day in, day out. So that's our project set up. Now I suggest even before we put anything on there that we save it and we go to and we call it gun underscore model 01. Just save that off. Okay, you're already set in there. Now I want to show you the reference pictures that I've got here. I've just whipped these off the internet and um, this is the one that seems to be the most accurate, but this is the type of gun that we'll be creating. But as you can see, I've got loads of different pictures here, um, different views of the gun so that I can see as I'm modeling, because a certain degree I'm gonna have to eyeball it as I haven't got a front picture or a top picture of the gun. I've merely got the sides, got a few top bits there, but nothing much. So I'll be using that one as it's the clearest image. Okay, now what I've done is um, I've place this into Adobe Illustrator. Now if you haven't got Adobe Illustrator or you don't want to model this out, I will be putting these these um, drawings up online anyway, which I'll give you before I start. Um, but as you can see, what I'm doing now is I'm modeling the gun out. I've created the place layout and I've locked it on the bottom image and I'm creating the gun drawing using the pen tool um, onto here, starting to put all the details in there, and you'll see that when it's finished. So I'm going to carry on working with this, and I'm going to do the projections, and I'll show you this when it's finished, and I'll also give you where you can pick the gun up from, but um, this is the gun that you'll be doing, just so that you know, and I'll see you in the next lesson where you'll see the drawings and see how I've projected the images in Illustrator, and I'll give you the reference for the for picking up the um, image plane maps to import into Maya in the next lesson. Okay.